fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Howdy, sir. Well, has McVickers told you who beat him up? If he had, you and your boss would be in jail. That's not a very friendly attitude. I'm not paid to be friendly with crooks. Now, uh, what's this about Thomason? He claims he hasn't enough money. Well, he's lying. Now, you tell him to pay for the protection or his store is liable to burn. Who's next? Sam Walker says... Morrison and his wife just went to the bank. Oh, they did? Oh, that's good. Now, our new sheriff is about to learn another lesson. You go on over and back of the bank and keep your eye on him. Don't you trust old man Pierce? Pierce is an honest banker, and I never trust men who are honest. You mean you're going to foreclose? I'm sorry, Jack, but I have no choice. We'll pay off the mortgage as soon as we market cattle. Since Jack's been sheriff, he hasn't had time. Uh, Mrs. Morrison, in business, there's no room for friendly feelings toward... This isn't just business. You're one of the men who urged Jack to run for sheriff. You knew that meant neglecting the ranch. Well, we, we hoped that you'd have Hutch Conant behind bars, but now... How can Jack do anything to that crook if no one would testify against him? I uh, know, Mrs. Morrison, but... Now, wait a minute, Pierce. When Sheriff Riley was killed in that so-called accident, you said that Conant and his crooks had run this town long enough. All right, so, so I agreed to run for sheriff. Now my cattle were stolen and my barn was burned down. And you know that's why I had to borrow money. Uh, you have a right to be bitter. I'm a lot worse than bitter. You people elected me sheriff, and since then not a soul in Nassau has backed me up in anything I've tried to do. Conant gets away with murder, and, and no one will testify against him. And you talk about foreclosing. I never knew money meant that much. It, it isn't the money. Well, then what is it? Oh, so now you're taking orders from Conant, huh? He told you to foreclose. I have a wife and children. I couldn't risk their lives by... Well, you're willing to risk my life and Shirley's life. Don't you know you can't fight evil by hiring someone to fight it for you? You gotta take some of the risk yourself. I'm sorry, Jack. Extend the mortgage just one more week. Give me that much of a chance. What could you accomplish in one week? Well, Conant was mixed up in a murder before he came here to Nassau, and a friend of mine is investigating. A friend? A lawman? Well, he's worked for the law many times. I've asked him to see what he could learn about Conant's activities in Blanchard City. Now, when he finds enough evidence to establish Conant's guilt, he's to give it all to me. I've arranged to meet him here within the week. I wish you luck, but I, I just don't dare risk even one week. And I'm supposed to enforce the law for the benefit of people like you. Come on, Shirley. I need fresh air. Hey, Jack, I... Uh... Having a little trouble at the bank, folks? What do you think? Well, if Claude was unreasonable, I might be able to help. We don't need your kind of help. Hate to see you lose the ranch. No, why don't you let me pay off the loan for you, huh? You can't bribe me, Conant. I told you that a long time ago. Come on, sir. Now, wait a minute, Morrison. You can't fight me any longer. You're just being a stepping fool. I run this town. I could make you the highest price lawman in the territory. In one week, you won't be running anything. You'll be under arrest for murder. Maybe we'd better arrange for another accident. No, no, we couldn't risk killing two sheriffs in a row. Hey, boss, uh, Pierce did what you told him. Yeah? Yeah. There's something else, though. Morrison's having you investigated. And from the way he talked, it sounded like he's having somebody nosing around asking questions of Blanchard City. That could be bad, Hutch. I know. Look, uh, do you think you could forge Morrison's handwriting? I can forge anything. Why? Well, Morrison's going to leave town. And I want it to look like it was his own idea. <laughs> Come on. How things 
Let's go, Kim, Sammy. Those rumors Morrison heard were true. Conan was in Blanchard City at the time Metcalf was murdered. Unfortunately, the only man who saw the killing died last month. That's not good. No, Tano, it isn't. Somehow, we'll have to find another way to help Morrison bring Conan to justice. We'd better ride over to Morrison's home. We should be able to make it by tomorrow. I'm going now, darling. Oh, Mrs. Raymond's a fiend for punctuality. Have a good time, dear. I won't go if you don't want me to. Are you sure I can't help? Not unless you know where I can get $2,000. I'm writing to the bank in Kingston. But why they should risk money in a town run by a crook? Maybe your masked friend will come before the end of the week. With Conan in jail, everything will be different. I've given up believing in miracles. Oh, don't talk like that, Jack. It's not like you. I'm sorry, honey. You run along to your meeting. I'll finish my letter. Goodbye, darling. Oh, I'll be home in time to prepare supper. Well, you better be. <laughs> Get your hands up. Now, what's the idea? Well, you've been a nuisance long enough. Now, don't be a fool. Anything happens to me, the folks in town will know you're responsible. Let's go pack his clothes. What about the Rangers? You made Sheriff Riley's death look like an accident, but another accident might be pretty hard to explain. Who said anything about an accident? You're merely going to leave town. Now, how do you expect to sell that bill of goods? I wouldn't walk off without saying anything to anybody. I'm taking care of that, too. What's that? Well, this is a note you're going to leave your wife. You see, Gullion here is a handwriting expert. Well, you... Thanks, Gullion. You shouldn't have let him get that close. What happened? Well, it seems our friend here didn't think much of my idea. Go on, packing his clothes. I'll get his horse. He'd better bring back a rope. We'd better tie him up while he's still out. Right. Mrs. Morrison. We're friends of your husband's. That mask? Are, are you the Lone Ranger? That's right, ma'am. And this is Tato. Is Jack home? No, he isn't. Oh, we're sorry we disturbed you. We'll go on to his office. He isn't there either. I, I don't know where he is. He's just disappeared. You're his friend. You know Jack wouldn't do anything dishonorable. Of course he wouldn't. What's this all about? Well, yesterday afternoon when I left Jack, he was terribly discouraged. And, you know, about Conant. Yes, go on. When I came back yesterday, he'd packed his clothes and just gone out. I, I found this note on the table. Use this to pay off the rest of our debts. I'll get in touch with you when things quiet down. What did he mean? He left four $100 bills with the note. There must be some logical explanation. Maybe he... Don't you see? We didn't have any money. Where could Jack have found $400? Is this his handwriting? Yes. Don't you understand? People would think Conan bribed Jack to leave town. Do you think that, Mrs. Morrison? No, of course not, but I... I can't think of any other explanation. I... He's come back. Well, who is it? Only Mr. Pierce. We don't want anyone to know we're here. May we wait in the next room? Of course. I'll get rid of him as soon as I can. Where's your husband? He isn't here. He sent me $2,000 in cash, along with this letter. And I brought along your receipt for the money. Here's your money. I hope your contents let you enjoy it. Maybe I didn't stand up to Conant, but at least I didn't sell my soul to him. You don't know that money came from Conant. Yes, I do, too. Yesterday, Conant came into the bank and drew $5,000 from his account, and he was paid in money that had just come in from Austin. That $2,000 for Jack was part of that same money. I... I can't believe it. Neither do I. An outlaw. 
I'm not an outlaw, but I wear this mask. Uh, then what are you? man who believes that Jack Morrison wouldn't accept a bribe. <laughs> You're the only man in town who does. Well, that's a possibility. May I see that letter, Mrs. Morrison? It's Jack's handwriting. It looks the same. Why, of course it is. Jack said yesterday he was getting evidence to hang Conan. And Conan gave him $5,000 to get out of town. There's one thing you're overlooking, Mr. Pierce. What's that? An honest man, not take bribe. And Jack Morrison's an honest man. May I look through your desk? Of course. Oh, there's an unfinished letter of Jack's if you want to compare the handwriting. Well, I'm not an authority on handwriting. I, I just want to compare the paper. And this paper rough and heavy. Look at this letter Jack wrote you. Do you have any paper like this around the house? Why, no. Where did Jack get it? That's what I'm wondering. You, you, you mean these may be forgeries? It's a possibility, Mr. Pierce. Jack told you he was getting evidence to hang Conant. Did he tell anyone else? He practically told Conant. And Conant may be behind this whole thing to get Jack out of the way. Good heavens, I... I'm going to ask you not to mention this to anyone until we return. Where are you going? Otano and I are going to circle the ranch and try to pick up Jack's trail. If, if what you say is true, they, they may have killed him. I certainly hope not, Mrs. Morrison. We'll do the best we can. There are the tracks, Tano. One of the horses has a right foot that toes in. The prints match those we found in the barn where Morrison kept his horse. But he's not riding alone. It's beginning to look as if my hunch was right. Come on. Has he been behaving himself? Yeah. How are things going? Oh, fine. Fine. The whole town's convinced that he was bribed. What are you talking about? About the $5,000 bribe you took to leave town. <laughs> You're crazy. You'd never convince any of my friends I'd do a thing like that. Well, suit yourself. But the whole town's cursing you up, down and sideways for running out on them. <laughs> you want to put Gully in up for sheriff again? I am. But you won't be around this time to mess it up. Now, what are you going to do with me? What's your guess? I only kept you around just in case there might be trouble. You might be useful, but I don't have to worry now. When it gets dark, you take him out in the desert and bury him deep. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Isn't it? No. A friend of mine is showing your picture around Blanchard City, asking a lot of questions about the murder of a man named Medcalf. What do you know about Medcalf? Quite a lot. If you're identified as the man who murdered him, my friend's going to bring me the evidence. And in case I'm not here, He's to turn it over to the Texas Rangers. What's the name of this friend of yours? I think I told you enough. What's the name of that friend of yours and where are you going to meet him? Now, come on, answer me. Why should I? You're going to kill me anyway. Let me work him over. I'll make him talk. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's all yours, Tiger. Let me know when you break him down. No use, Tunnel. The ground's too hard. They evidently had time enough to cover their trail. Well, we have no proof. We have no clues. Now we lose trail. This is like trying to send a smoke signal without fire. Tano, I have an idea. It's true that the man who saw the killing in Blanchard City is dead. But I don't think Conan knows that. I'm going to write a letter addressed to Sheriff Morrison. You take it to town and pretend you're trying to deliver it to... Pardon me, sir. Sheriff Morrison, not in office. Uh, maybe you see him go in cafe? What do you want with him? Uh, me have letter. A letter? A man asked me to give to Sheriff Morrison. Let me see it. The man who gave you this, what did he look like? Uh, him tall and have dark hair. Was he wearing a badge or anything like that? No, uh, him not lawman. I'll tell you what, Ensign. I'm a friend of Morrison's. I'll see if he gets this. Uh, man asked me to give to Sheriff Morrison himself. Look, Ensign, I'm doing you a favor. Now you run along and don't worry. Uh, maybe you're right. Thank you. Any luck? Never saw anything like it. He just won't talk. 
Well, maybe we'll have to bring his wife over here. I'm sure he won't want to see her get hurt. Mm, better save a lot of wear on my knuckles. All right, I'll tell you what to do. You go ahead and ride out to me. See who that is. An engine just brought this for Morrison. For well, Morrison? How did he know he was here? He didn't. He was looking for him. Blanchett City identification positive. You may arrest Connor immediately. But if you'd rather check the evidence before taking action, I'll be in the tall rocks north of town. L.R. Holy mackerel. You say an engine gave you this? Yeah, I said a man asked him to deliver it. I told the engine I'd do it for him. Well, that's using your head. You go out to the tall rocks and get rid of the evidence. How about this fellow L.R.? You get rid of him, too. Maybe I'd better go along. No, no, you stay here with Morrison. L.R. is liable to become suspicious if he sees two men riding up. Did anybody go for the bait? Ah. Uh, me find man outside cafe who acts plenty interested in letter. Him insist on taking it to sheriff himself. But after me give him letter, him open it and read. Good. After him read letter, him go into cafe. Later, another feller come out and mount horse ride this way. May take shortcut. And he should be here any minute. I'll build up the fire so he'll be able to locate us easily. I may get Scout out of sight. Fine. We'll hide behind these rocks. You locked it, tore off my fingers. You're lucky it wasn't worse. What do you want? Information. You work for Hutch Conant, don't you? What makes you think so? You came here because Conant was tricked into thinking I had evidence against him. You walked into a trap, mister. You don't have anything on him? Not yet. But I'll have plenty after you're finished talking. I've got nothing to say. I'll give you just five seconds to change your mind. You mean you'd kill me? You not talk, you're no use to us. That's right, Tonto. No, wait. I'll talk. What do you want to know? Has Morrison been murdered? No. He's alive. Honest, he is. I hope you're telling the truth. We'll tie him, Tonto, and then get the whole story. Who is it? I'm back, boss. Just a minute, Tiger. Why don't you take care of that? Go for your gun. Who are you? The man's voice I imitated didn't succeed in killing me. I don't know what you're talking about. I wrote Sheriff Morrison that letter. Your L.I.? That's right. The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Now draw your gun with your fingertips and put it on the desk. Easy like. Well, what do you want with me? Where will I find Jack Morrison? Well, I don't know. They say he left town. Never mind the lies, Conant. Your gunslinger told me he was being kept prisoner somewhere in this building. Well, he's crazy. I haven't seen him for two days. I don't believe you. All right, go ahead. Search the place yourself, then. I'll do that. But first, I'm taking you to jail. You don't have any authority to arrest me, mister. You're mistaken, Conant. Morrison deputized me before I went to Blanchard City. Look, Lone Ranger, I'm a wealthy man. I'll make you a deal. Now, suppose you forget what you learned in Blanchard City. First, tell me where I'll find Morrison. If I turn Morrison over to you, and I'm not saying that I could, would you forget about Metcalf? All I can promise is that you'll have a fair trial. Well, that's not good enough. Some people say you don't deserve more than that. Come on, we're wasting time. Well, if I'm going to go to jail, then I'll need... Keep your hands away from that drawer. I'm just going to bring some cigars along. You'll have to send for them. I'm afraid that won't be necessary. Drop your gun, mister. You heard him. You better do as he says. And the other one, too. Yeah. Yes, I like it much better this way. Who is he, Hutch? Well, he says he's the Lone Ranger. But from what I've heard, the Lone Ranger wouldn't let himself be captured so easily. You're quite right. You mean you're not the Lone Ranger? I mean that I don't intend to be captured. Well, I'd say that's been taken care of. 
I'd say you're wrong, Conant. Cut him! All right, Conant, drop your gun. We have them covered, Commissary. Thanks, Al. Keep your eye on them while I check the hidden room. Jack, can you hear me? Oh, the mask man. Now take it easy. Everything is going to be all right. That's exactly what happened, Jack. After Kona was arrested for abducting you, the townspeople came forward with enough evidence to hang him and to put his men behind bars for the rest of their lives. I'll never forget what you've done. Neither should I. We knew you'd been framed because we knew you wouldn't accept a bribe. Well, I don't know about letting the money he sent Mr. Pierce really go to pay off the mortgage. Everybody in town want to use money that way. They're grateful for the lesson you taught them. The lesson? That's right, Jack. No matter how many sheriffs, policemen, marshals a community may have, real law enforcement depends upon the courage and integrity of every individual citizen. Goodbye, Mrs. Morrison. Goodbye. Keep up the good work, Jack. Adios. Bye. Jack, I'm so proud of you. Hmm, that's nice. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm proud that you stood up to Conant. I'm proud of the example you set. And I'm proud that you're a friend of the Lone Ranger. Oh,